Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use ChatGPT to forecast sales and revenue for your small business. Make sure you subscribe to this playlist and follow the example. We are continuing with the food truck, even in this example. And so I'm going to jump over to ChatGPT. And I want you to follow these. This is this is the first time I've done this, so this is a live video. Hope it all works out. I'll keep it at one take. Uh, but I just want to demonstrate um, some of the kind of gray area things that you can do with the robot. So what I'm talking about is forecasting sales. So let's just first make sure that ChatGPT understands that I'm still using the food truck example. So I'm just going to paste. You can see it on the screen there. I'm just pasting the prompt that tells ChatGPT that I'm a food truck business in Miami, blah, blah, blah. OK, so that's the first thing I'm telling the robots going to ask me what questions I have. I'm going to say I'm going to say also our sales have been about five hundred five hundred dollars per day over the last six quarter quarters okay so I'm telling it it sounds like your food truck business has been performing well that's great to hear it's talking about financial stability and success of your business you can include other profit margins I'm gonna say currently Currently, the real estate market in the area is slowing down and sales have tanked 30%, right? So I'm just giving it some information, right? And now I'm going to say, Okay, hold on. Now it's giving me a network area. Let's see if I can regenerate. All right, let me just tell it again. Okay, okay, all right, I gotta refresh. So I'll just say currently the real estate market is down 30% decrease in sales. One thing you could do is highlight the steps that you're taking to adapt to change the market. It's starting to give me some tips. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to see if it can forecast my sales. I'm going to say our sales have averaged $500 per day over the last six quarters. Can you provide a sales forecast for the next year? Let's see what we can do. It's difficult to provide an accurate sales forecast for your business. And it's giving me here are a few steps you can follow to create a sales forecast. Collect and analyze historical sales data. Okay. Consider market trends. Analyze the competition. Set realistic goals. Create a sales forecast using the information you have gathered. And be sure to include assumption and estimates for each month or quarter. Okay. Can you provide an Example sales forecast for for the business assuming the inflation rate is eight point five percent. Let's see if we can do something. Here's an example sales forecast for your food truck business assuming an inflation rate of 8.5 percent 
So this is just providing some some numbers here. Sales 500 a day, so 15,000. And it gives the calculation of what the inflation adjustment would be. So my adjusted sales would be at 16.25. Okay. Let's say, is it still calculating? It's still calculating. Quarter three, quarter four. This is one example of how you could create a sales forecast. Assuming an inflation rate of 8.5%. Can you update the sales forecast assuming the market conditions are down? Are expected to fall 30%. Let's see if it'll update the sales forecast. Certainly, here's an updated sales forecast. Assuming that market conditions are expected to fall 30%. So you can use the robot and I can continue to work with it going back and forth to determine some useful information that I can use for a report for my business. That is the point of this video, just to show you how you can work with the robot to work through your numbers. Now, to get an actual, accurate, information as the robot told us you will have to put together all of the background information i'm just scrolling back up where it told us that you will need you will need to collect and analyze historical sales data which i don't really have other than just saying that we made 500 dollars a day and market trends i didn't put very much data there for market trends but this example was just to show you another way that you can use the robot to grow your business. You can actually talk to it about the future and it will provide information to help you plan. All right. Make sure you subscribe at howwhy.ai and you'll get all the tips similar to this guide on how you can use this robot to grow your business. Make sure you subscribe to the playlist and get the other videos as well. When you subscribe at the website, you will get 12 businesses to start with AI today and 31 AI apps to use in your business now. And you'll also get my email address so you can send me questions and I will be there to help you out. Until the next time, thank you for checking out this video. Post in the comments if you have any feedback and share this video like fire is on your hair. Until the next time, I'm, I'm Darnell Jackson. Peace.